Virgo, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Amira. This is Monocopes' Soul Healing. I want to thank you guys for your beautiful presence here on the channel and for your subscription. If you're not already subscribed, please do so at this time and don't forget to hit that like button. This reading, Virgo, is going to be uh, for you and someone in your environment. So maybe a romantic interest or someone you're in a relationship with or have a relationship with it does not have to be romantic please keep that in mind it's a general read okay if you're interested in a personal reading you can email me you have some venusian energy coming out as well as the number eight in or the eighth house um, which is Scorpio energy. It speaks about making big life changes, okay, that are directed toward what's going to bring us what we want. It's not necessarily about another person, okay, um, which is also that Venusian energy and also how this person over here is coming. Um, your situation, wow. Virgo, what's this? What's this? <laughs> Your situation, my dear, is showing up as the tower. Yep, there it is. Some beautiful, great, grand Mars energy. Yeah, so you have some Scorpio. You have some Leo, you have some Aries, three major arcana showing up for you, your person and your situation. So uh, big deal, right? I do feel like there's some anger or just like, um, and it's crazy because you have Venus coming out, but Venus can be, you know, I really need or I really want, okay? There could be some selfish behavior or actions here, or um, maybe you're both feeling this way. I do feel like there is some kind of argument or like, inability to get on the same page okay in the situation um and if that's the case again for some of you the, the, your person showing up as the emperor okay this could be your significant other okay it could be your boss it could be your father whoever this person is they're showing up as somebody who is in a position of leadership they have received this position or status because they have lived a long time or because they have the necessary knowledge and expertise to have it so whatever that means this is somebody who has um or at least they're showing up this way it's like the ball is in their court okay they have a decision that needs to be made but there's a lot of changes that are occurring within this relationship dynamic okay and you're showing up in this strength energy, which is like, I keep hearing I'm not backing down, but like, you know, the emperor isn't either. <laughs> so we have a problem, okay? We have a problem ultimately. Show me this tower. What is this? No, go back in, goodness. It's judgment in the reverse, wanting to come out. Okay, show me the tower. Some of you may feel like there's no chance in hell that this is ever gonna get resolved or figured out. Or that someone is potentially going to create this tower moment and make the wrong choice. My stability depends upon it. Death card energy. Eight of coins in the reverse. Yeah, something's not working out, okay? Or the effort is not coming from both sides. And the page of cups. What? How are you going to show up as the emperor and then back it up with the page of cups? How does that work? Um... I'm just saying. So the eight of coins in the reversal is um, 
no energy, no effort, okay, no reciprocation, something's not working out. This could be working, 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 and feeling as though you're getting nowhere. It could also be laziness, okay? There are definitely a lot of changes that are occurring or that you're saying need to occur. Um, and I feel like you guys are holding really tightly to this, okay? This page of cups is like whispering sweet nothings. <laughs> it is. This is like a typically good news, a, a welcome message, okay? A loving message is someone who is acting on their feelings or expressing themselves. Um, interesting. Ooh, we have the Empress in the reverse. So something's not growing, okay? Something is not growing. And and we see that already with this eight of coins in the reverse, something's not working. I feel like there is a need to change um, the plan or, or, you know, plants, plant the fruit, plant the seeds elsewhere, something like that. Maybe you guys could be talking about changing jobs or changing locations, switching um, where you live or something to that effect. Um, but there is definitely an energy of something that is not going anywhere. Short-lived success, okay, within this relationship or just generally speaking to people who uh, may be on two different pages, okay? Um, you know, maybe things were great at one point, but something is definitely not working out within this situation, okay? The Eight of Coins in the reversal, again, it could be someone who is lazy and inattentive, but it could also be putting in so much effort into something and, and like getting absolutely nowhere. All right, what's going on? What's going on with Virgo over there? this person is unreasonable okay with whatever it is that you're trying to figure out it's so crazy though why do they keep showing up in this energy it's like somebody who it plays the victim okay whoever this person is it's like they play the victim you know you know they they apologize but then they continue to do the same stupid thing or the same um Poor decision making again like we saw that judgment card wanted to come out at the beginning of this message some of you may see them as someone who is not trustworthy as well all right looking for love and not commitment hmm. Yeah, here's the Seven of Swords. A lot of you feel like this person is fearful. Okay, maybe feel like they're afraid to commit or afraid to um, change directions, whatever that means. Yeah, you feel like they're avoiding making some decision, which there's total acknowledgement here that, that they are the ones who have to make it for whatever reason. Yeah. Some of you feel like they are selfish, which I think I said out loud already, but like this specifically that they are wasting time. 
in money maybe okay yeah hmm. all right tell me about this person please what's up with this person For a lot of you, this could be someone from your past or someone who you have a long history with. Because I see you trying to remain in control of yourself and your emotions in particular. Maybe trying not to allow this person or this situation to knock you off of your square especially if they're gonna keep showing up as the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. <sighs> this is literally, it's, it's like an all out war here. You're both seeing each other in night energy, okay? Can we just like point that out first and foremost? Okay. And that's, a, but that's a part of why this eight of coins in the reversal is showing up in the common general energy here. Because something is not working out and it could be because of work ethic or um, decisions that are being made you have this eight energy as your overall energy that came out which is needing to make big life decisions and I feel like you're I don't know if you guys are both trying to go in different directions okay because they are seeing you as having moved on and you're seeing them as not <laughs> like trying to come back in and that's why I say for some of you this could be someone from your past who is showing up or who has recently showed up or you know sent you a text message or something like that this person also feels like you can't be tied down yeah, I mean, they're seeing you pretty accurately because you're in this strength energy of like, I'm holding, I'm, I'm holding steady. Okay. Yeah. Seven of wands. I'm holding steady. What I said is what I meant. Literally. What I said is what I meant. I have full clarity on this. This is what Virgo saying. I have full clarity on this. I'm not confused about it. I mean what I'm saying. I mean, they're seeing you pretty accurately if you ask me. Whereas they are showing up as like a freaking ghost from the past. What are you doing here kind of thing? I feel like we had a reading um, recently that was similar. You feel like this person is unstable or untrustworthy though. For some reason. There's something that occurred in the past that broke this up. I feel like this is somebody who you were in a relationship with, or if you're still in a relationship with this person, there are significant issues and there's something from the past that's being brought up or that you guys can't get on the same page about, okay? But they're referring to um, the past here and again being unable to move forward from it i feel like they they know that that is like where your hard stop is i don't know i want to know more i feel like there's more what am i missing here could definitely be a Scorpio guys or just someone who's going through a lot yeah okay three of wands in the reverse three of wands in the three of coins is in the reverse it's 
like something didn't pan out in the past. Why would we try again? All right. This is sort of, I feel like, the stance that you are taking. Or it hasn't been working out, so why would we continue to try? That kind of thing. This person may have left you for another person or cheated. Okay. All right. Let's see what you guys want from this situation. What's Virgo want, please? From this situation for this person. What do they want? see each other as indecisive just saying or inconsistent at the very least yeah and you are you're unsure and it's because of whatever trust was broken or has been broken in this situation i do feel like you guys want to continue to give to this but it's really just on um it's really just because of the history or because of the amount of time that's already been spent within this again acknowledging that some changes need to be made Okay. For some of you, this is a relationship where, um, this is just like a side note that's not for everybody, but especially with this person showing up in this emperor energy. It's like, you, you know, there was a relationship and then it never got to the point of like engagement and marriage. Okay. Kind of thing. You're specifically saying this person needs to work to show you as well. Yeah. Show you that they have changed as it pertains to how much they give to this, maybe how much time. I mean, because the emperor is somebody who is pretty busy. He has a lot of different obligations and expectations. So that could have been a problem as well or a current problem. I do feel like whoever this is is um, sorry. I think that they have already apologized to you, but you're showing up as a little fed up. What does this person want, please, with Virgo? What do they want? talk about a commitment they do that's what would make them happy um or, or talk about how they could you know offer you what it is that would make you happy ultimately right i, I also feel like this person has already said this to you yeah i feel like whoever this is is very attracted to you Okay. Um, again, this could be a relationship, a romantic relationship, rather a business partner. Um, you have the king and queen of wands showing up. For a lot of you, this is a fire sign. Um, and Aries in particular. Whoever this person is, I feel like they want to be on better terms with you and begin to build something that is stable. Okay, actually put in effort 
Um, I would say that they're willing to do this as well, showing up with the King and Queen of Wands, because those are two people who get, you know, what it is that they are after, doing anything and everything possible, which also is that Emperor energy. I don't know if this person has been afraid, okay, or they were afraid, or that maybe they have a fear of commitment. I do feel like they're willing to talk about it, though. Let's get an outcome for you, Virgo, okay? One week's outcome for Virgo and this person. If you're still here, hit that thumbs up and subscribe, okay? Virgo and this person. I just heard, I don't even know you anymore. Complacency. Yeah, what is that about? Wisdom. Perception. Right, hangman energy and enlightenment. Okay. I like this. I do feel like there is going to be some communication here. Right, isolation and victim. Like I said, somebody's been playing the victim. Someone may have also been um, healing, or but I feel like a lot of you feel as though this is somebody who was playing games or has been playing games, or maybe they played games in the past, I don't know. But I do feel like there is some kind of significant conversation coming up where this person will become enlightened, or this is someone who has already become enlightened. Um, you guys need are, are needing to have a conversation about like um, this perception card, really, because a lot of times things don't work because we can't have a conversation about like how how I perceive something or how I perceive a relationship, what I view as commitment, what I, how I view marriage or whatever this situation is versus someone else's perception of it. I feel like there's a need to get on the same page about that. Okay. I mean, if you want this, if you don't, then, you know, <laughs> free will. Okay. Let's get one of these. For Virgo, please. And their person. Okay. Take an effing trip. Go see some shit, do some new things, talk to people cooler than you. Okay, so somebody needs some time away, need a vacation. Maybe you're going to be spending some time away so that you can gain some enlightenment or this person is all right you guys are definitely um gaining some kind of wisdom it could just be an internal thing or for some of you maybe it's from another person okay who is in your environment and enlightening you maybe it's this person i don't know Virgo, this is what I have for you. Okay, I hope that something here resonated and brought you peace and clarity. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next time for the next one. Bye.